Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Wagid's math class. We will build on what we learned about similar triangles. Two triangles are similar only if all corresponding angles are congruent and all corresponding sides are proportional. We also learned that dilation proves that two figures are similar and that's one way of transformation. If a triangle is dilated with a scale factor, if you remember that, that's called K, then the triangles are similar. For example, here is the big triangle and a small triangle, whether the small got enlarged or the bigger got reduced using a scale factor. We also learned about angle relationship using two parallel lines cut by transversal where eight angles are created and then we proved some pairs of angles are congruent. And those pairs of angles are corresponding angles are congruent, vertical angles, alternate interior angles, and alternate exterior angles. Those pairs of angles are congruent. For today's lesson, if we can prove that two corresponding angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. To find the missing angle measure, use the equation angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180. This way you can prove if the two triangles are similar or not. So let's practice with those two examples. Tell whether the triangles are similar, explain. Remember, all you have to prove two angles are congruent or two pairs of angles are congruent. You don't need to prove three angles are congruent. Do you know why? Because the third one has to be the same for them to equal 180. And you'll find that out yourself. So here's the example number one. Write the equation, find x, the angle for x. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Substitute the numbers, 28 plus 80 plus x equal 180. Now combine like terms and you end up with 108 plus x equal 180. Now the subtraction property of inequality, subtract 108 from both sides, you end up with x equal 72. Now I need to find the second angle, so I'm going to put a line and find the angle y for the second triangle. Again, write the equation, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Substitute the numbers, 28 plus 71 plus y equals 180. Combine like terms, 99 plus y equals 180. Now the subtraction property of inequality means subtract from both sides, 99. You end up with y equals 81. Did you find two pairs of congruent angles? No. Therefore, the triangles are not similar because they do not have two pairs of congruent angles. Now let's check the second example. Again, write the equation to find the missing angle measure. Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Substitute the numbers 66 plus 90 plus x equal 180. Combine like terms, you end up with 156 plus x equal 180. Now the subtraction property of inequality, subtract 156 from both sides, you end up with x equal 24. Do I need to continue? Or did you find two pairs of congruent angles? Yes. They both have 90 degrees and they both have 24 degrees, which means y should be, guess what? 66 degrees. I don't need to find it because it needs to add up 280 degrees. Now let's practice with this word problem. You plan to cross a river and wanted to know how far it is to the other side. You take measurement on your side of the river and make the drawing shown. So you're trying to find how wide the river is. I am not going to get a measuring tape and stop measuring how wide the river is. So what would I do? I would draw a similar triangle on the other side where I'm able to find some measurement. This is called indirect measurement. So I will find the what, uh, side of the river or how wide the river is using similar triangles. Explain why triangle ABC and triangle DEC are similar. Now we'll use angle relationship to prove two triangles are similar. Angle B and angle E are right angles, so they are congruent. 
Angle ACB and angle DCE are vertical angles. They are on the opposite side of the vertex. So two pairs of angles are congruent. Therefore, the two triangles are similar. What is the distance X across the river, which is the width of the river? Since triangles are similar, then the, life, the, then the side lengths are proportional. So we learn how to set up a proportion using fraction big to small or small to big. It depends on what you choose, but stick with it. I would choose big to small just as an example. Now, 60, the corresponding side is X, equal 50, and the corresponding side is 40. Since it's a proportion now, to find the missing measure, or X, use cross-multiplication. So multiply 60 times 40 is 2,400, and 50 times X equal 50X. Now, divide by 50 to get rid of the 50, because you want X by itself you end up with x equal 48. So x equal 48, which means the river width of the river also 48 feet. Here's another example of using indirect measurement to find the missing side length. Use the fact that the two rays formed from the sun are parallel to explain why triangle ABC and triangle DEF are similar. Look at the drawing. You, we use the triangle with the height of the person and the shadow to create similar triangles. So how can we prove those two triangles are similar first? Angle A and angle D are congruent because they are 90 degree angles. Now, since the sun rays are parallel, draw a line, this red line, connecting the two parallel lines. This becomes the transversal, which makes angle ABC and angle DEF congruent because they are corresponding angles. See how I proved two angles are congruent or two pairs of angles are congruent? Therefore, the triangles are similar. So triangle ABC, similar to triangle DEF. Now explain how to use similar triangles to find the height of the flagpole. Once I prove they are similar, then the side lengths are proportional. I will show you a different way because at the beginning of the lesson, we also said that dilation proves similarity. So if I can find the scale factor, I can find the missing side also. And how do we find the scale factor? Scale factor is also a ratio of big to small or small to big. But if I put big to small, that means how many times bigger the big triangle than the small triangle. And the corresponding side that I know, 36 divided by 3, equals 12. So 12 is the scale factor, or k, which means each side of the big triangle is 12 times bigger than the smaller triangle. Side DF is 12 times side AC. 5 times 12 equals 60. So x equals 60 feet, which means the flagpole height is equal 60 feet. Here's the last example of proving two triangles are similar and finding the side length of similar triangles. Look at the drawing. I'm trying to find the side length AC. They give you, gave you some measurement. If you noticed, AC and MN are parallel lines. Side BA is the transversal. So how can you prove the angles are congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle M because they are corresponding angles. Angle B is a shared angle. It's the same angle for both triangles. It's like a small triangle inside the big triangle. So now I prove two triangles are congruent, therefore the two triangles are similar. So how do I find the side AC? If I were you, I would draw both triangles separately to know what the measurements are. Here's the yellow triangle and the brown triangle. Write the measurement. I know that BC is 12.5 centimeter. I know that MN is seven centimeter, but I don't know what MB is and what AC is. So how do I find what MB is? What's the length of MB? They gave me 12.5 centimeter for AC, but they also gave me a M is five centimeters. So what do I do with those two? 
subtract him, and that gives you 7.5, which is the length of MB. So write that, 7.5 centimeter. Now, since they are similar, write your proportion. This time, small to big, I would choose 7.5 to 12.5 equals 7 to X. Since it's a proportion, cross multiply, and that gives you 7.5 X equal 87.5. I need to isolate x, so divide by 7.5 both sides, and that gives you x equal 11.6666, but I need to round this number to the nearest tenth, and that gives you 11.7 centimeter. So you can use proportion to find the missing side, or you can use the scale factor to find the missing side, but first you have to prove that true triangles are similar if they didn't tell you so by finding two congruent angles. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening.